Hook. We measure everything now, but it started with a few weird ideas. 1821. Two unlike metals, hot and cold, make a tiny voltage. Hello, thermocouples. The Seebeck effect. 1833. 1843. Christie proposes the resistance bridge. Wheatstone popularizes it. Tiny resistance changes become readable numbers. 1879. Edwin Hall shows magnetism shoves moving charges sideways. Hall effect sensors are born. Late 1800s and 1920s. Platinum resistance thermometers evolve into stable resistive temperature detectors, RTDs. 1873, 1905. Selenium's light sensitivity leads to phototubes. Einstein explains the photoelectric effect. 1928. The Geiger-Miller tube makes radiation countable. Click, click, click. 1938. Simmons and Ruge invent the strain gauge. Bridges plus foil grids unlock force, weight and pressure. 1930s, the LVDT, Linear Variable Differential Transformer, turns tiny motion into clean signals, no friction. 1930s, thermistors arrive, huge resistance change per degree for tight thermal control. 1954, silicon's piezoresistive effect puts pressure and acceleration sensing on a chip. 1970s, fiber optic sensing measures strain and temperature with light, great in noisy or explosive areas. 1990s, today, MEMS, Micro Electromechanical Systems, Cram accelerometers, gyros and microphones into phones, drones and smart plants. Weird but true, a famous sensor glitch was pigeons roosting in a radio telescope horn. Clean the sensor, discover the universe. Why it matters. Better sensors made feedback control routine. Safer, faster and higher quality industry. Thanks to Tony Kuphalt and the open source community for the instructional models behind crash course instrumentation. If this helped, please like, subscribe and share for more quick lessons.